Hey guys, welcome back. Hope y'all are doing great today. Um, got a great shave for you. So our soap for today, PAA Fetus, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Home on the Range. By the way, fuzzy, that's how you say it, not the other way. Uh, we've already got our brush lathered. Our, our brush has uh, been loaded on the soap just to take a little bit less time. Razor for today, the uh, shovel head. I've got a different handle on here this time just because I think it's cool. I like to kind of try it out and see which handle is going to work perfectly. So use a different handle on it. But uh, we'll still get a good shape, I promise. Um, coffee for today is going to be uh, Community Coffee Breakfast Blend. It's good coffee. Okay. We've got our blue handle bore Omega, our, uh, BDH brush. We're going to get started. Got our cup with the warm water sitting right here. Put a little bit of water on the brush. Right to uh, build the lather on the face. It's only going to be a two pass shave today. Okay. The scent profile for this soap they say gun leather, gunpowder, and solvent. Be it hops number nine or valistol or any of those other ones. We just loaded straight from the uh, from the bug we didn't or from, from the container. We didn't put it in a bowl or anything like that. We're not having soup today. I smell a lot of the solvent coming out. Not quite as much gunpowder. Could be my nose. I definitely smell a lot of the solvent in the puck or in the soap. From the puck, it smells a lot more like leather. As it opens up like this, yeah, it's definitely more solvent based. There we go. Perfect. All right. Shovel head. People have love hate relations with the shovel head. I love it. It's a razor. Cuts the hair. That's what it's supposed to do. And while I'm on this tangent today, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this out there and I'll probably lose a few subscribers today, but it'll be all right. You probably more than likely don't have sensitive skin, in case you didn't know that. All right, I'm just throwing that out there. Okay. A lot of people quick to jump on this bandwagon of sensitive skin. I need a product to help with my sensitive skin. Do you have sensitive skin or do you have sensitized skin? I agree you got sensitized skin. You might even have an allergic reaction that could cause sensitive skin. I'll give you that. Okay, but the idea of running a blade across your face somehow contributes to sensitive skin. Correlation doesn't necessarily mean causation this time. Okay. Now, let me put the disclaimer in there, okay? You could have eczema or psoriasis. And that could, that could lead to sensitive skin. I give you that. I wholeheartedly agree. If normal, no skin conditions, anything like that, yeah, you probably don't have sensitive skin. Your technique probably sucks. It is what it is, guys. Don't get mad at me. Don't blame the clutch if you can't drive standard. Now, do some beards grow in thicker than others? Yeah. But I got news for y'all, okay? There ain't as many different kinds of hair out there as people have been talking about, okay? There's just not. It's hu we're human beings, okay? We all share pretty much the same, not designs, but pretty much the same ways of cutting hair off the face. A piece of metal on a razor's edge run across the face, gets rid of hair, okay? People have been doing it for thousands of years. 
So, and then we'll just leave that alone. After that, now that I've lost about probably 10 or 15 subscribers. Okay. People keep talking about they need a blade that's sharper and this and that and the other. Are some blades sharper than others? Yeah. <laughs> but guys, at the end of the day, I keep coming back to it. Okay. A razor's a razor, guys. A blade's a blade. With proper pressure, proper angle, and the basics, you can get a good shape. Will it be BBS every single time? Depends. Depends on how your technique is that day. Depends on how close you want your shape to be. But a blade's a blade, a razor's a razor. As long as they're both in optimal working condition, meaning not defective, not messed up, okay? It's an open comb, one of the teeth has not been anything like that. It's the same thing. Now I'm starting to smell more gunpowder. It's that scent that kind of hits you at the very end there. That's pretty cool. So I said this was going to be a two pass shave. It might be more than that. It's probably going to be a three pass. Because I like this soap so much. Oh, I forgot to ask. How's your mom and dad? They doing all right? They do. Fuzzy, I'm still waiting on that uh, three soaps, one razor shape from you. I tagged you, remember? Go. Yeah. For those of y'all that saw my last video, uh, you know I got the uh, two new razors. We're going to break out the uh, push button on Wednesday. We'll be using this shovel head over on the uh, toast channel on Tuesday. And then we'll move on to the push button. Third pass, just because I can. I said we were going to do two, but uh, it's shaving, right? you got to do three. And for the first time ever in my entire life, I bought the matching aftershave to go with the soap. I know what? I know, I'm just as surprised as you are, to be honest. I read the scent profile, I was like, yep, I gotta have that. Soap lathers usually stays together. It's very tolerant of water. You can, some soaps you can add too much water, you gotta start all over again. Some soaps, even just a little bit extra and it's done. This is definitely has the ability to hold on to the water. It's, I would definitely classify it as a thirsty soap. Okay, to put it in perspective, I would I would say probably holds more water than sterling. Not to compare, you know, one artisan to the other, but just to give it a frame of reference. Okay. what I would say. There we go. You notice my offhand is down here at the bottom. I don't know how well y'all can see, but I'm actually stretching skin with my offhand. Cross up here. Residual slickness on this soap. It's good. It's just fine. I don't believe in, you know, exquisite or this or that or the other, but it, it does what it's supposed to do, okay? Solid performance soap. Can't go wrong with the purchase of it. Scent is not indicative of performance. 
percent strength on this one, I give it a six. On the face. On the book, I give it an eight. Shovel head. So far, it's proven to be a great shaver. And I always nick. I got a little bit of a cut right there, and I just nicked it. So that's not the razor. That's the uh, my technique. All right. There you have it. I said it was going to be a two pass, ended up being a three pass, but that's okay. I don't mind at all. Dry the face off a little bit. We're going to go right into the matching aftershave. The way these products are packaged, they are wonderful stuff. And this is the aftershave slash cologne. Make sure you guys have a restrictor on this. You can see there. And it does also come sealed as well. Whew, almost dropped it there. That'd have been bad, huh? That's definitely. That scent is definitely solvent. Definitely. No doubt about it. A little bit less of the leather more of the solvent a little bit of gunpowder I can smell that that's good all right folks so there you have it there's the um, PAA Phoenix Arsene Accoutrements Home on the Range and the trusty Everetti shovel head I got to get ready to go. I got to get out the door. I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up and uh, we'll take we'll catch you guys soon. Y'all take care. Bye.